what up YouTube, CC here today. We are going over ups and downs, or if you don't like that name, uh, what was good and what was terrible this week in Mutt. And so we, we had a special Most Feared episode the other day, and what we're just, we're calling that even at this point, no up, no down. We did cover it before, uh, but so you know, we'll, we'll recover it again if any more content drops. Uh, but... Did we get anything new? Ah, uh, Legends, Legends, Twitch Prime Legends, Fred Bolitnikoff, don't do them, down. That card is terrible for a 90, absolutely terrible. Our actual Legends, Freddy B, the full Legend is pretty good. I like him a lot, uh, but he's, I mean, he's overpriced. And Mel Blunt is a down. Like, how is that possible that Mel Blunt's a down? His play rec is low. His zone is low. You have to buy the read and react version of him. And his hit power is only 80. Like, he's got the same hit power as, like, Terrence Newman. So, like, he's supposed to be a big hitter, and he doesn't have it, and fumbles don't matter. So, yeah. Um, I'm I'm not getting those cards for those prices. Team of the week, though, I thought was pretty good. This Amari Cooper looks good. He's not a 92. He's not a 92. His stats don't say 92. His overall says 92, but his stats don't say 92 at all. Um, at all. At all. And we'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, but the only cards that I would really pick up here, uh, if you needed like a budgety speedster, Teddy Ginn's fine. Uh, OJ Howard's good. But the rest of these cards, not great. Um, not really sure what James Devlin did to get a 90, but he did. Casey Hayward, on the other hand, looks like one of the best corners in the game. Uh, an absolute beast. Uh, Everson Griffin is a monster, but he's just going to be overpriced. Same thing with Miles Jack. Looks great, probably overpriced. Derek Morgan looks like a monster at defensive end. Uh, if you can get him for cheap, that's probably a good idea. Uh, Dante Fowler, again, pretty fast, pretty good. You can always, you know, do something with him. And uh, Shaq Griffin here, uh, he's he looks, I mean, he's fast. He's fast, you know. 88 speed, 88 excel, 88 agility. This might be a guy uh, on like a salary cap team or something that you're blitzing off the edge. Something like that. Uh, pretty good card. Pretty good card. Um, all things considered. I mean, he's a 76, so he's not going to have great stats everywhere, right? Uh, but you see, he's got uh, 60 hit power, which is okay. Which is okay for that. So the team of the week overall, like I kind of liked it. Um, I kind of liked it. But, but, we got a couple really awesome things. We got a limited edition Joe Thomas. Finally, limited editions are back, maybe. Uh, I don't know if they're actually back. But uh, this Joe Thomas was back. Uh, so let's go look at him. If you missed it yesterday, I did pull him. Uh, and we ended up selling him for 700,000 coins after taxes. Uh, not always a fan of us getting taxed, but look, you know, he's, he's pretty good. Joe Thomas is pretty good. He's the left tackle, a limited edition card. Please make this a regular thing, EA. Please, please, please. Uh, but the card looks good. His chemistry is trash. I don't know why he didn't get uh, an ability like all the other limited cards have. So that's weird, uh, which makes me feel like they just sort of threw this together at like 145 yesterday. But they did. They did. Um... Oh, no. Let's go look. I want to show you guys Amari Cooper. I want to show you Amari Cooper and just show you why he's not. He's not a 92. You can call him a 92 all you want. You can call him a 92. He's not a 92, right? So look at this. He's a 92 overall, and his cap is 46. His cap is 46, so the cap gives you a much better indication of how good the card really is. Freddie B is a 93. With 55 cap. Odell's a 93 with 59 cap. Antonio Brown is also a 92. 52 cap. Ocho, 93. 56 cap. So, like, that tells you all you need to know. Like, let's compare this card and just see where he falls. So, look at him and Brandon Cooks. All right, Brandon Cooks is faster, right? Amari's got better spec catch, better release. But two better route running, three better catch in traffic. Like, he doesn't... He doesn't do a lot, you know? He's, he's he's not that good. He's just not that good. Uh, so don't get Amari Cooper. Don't get Amari Cooper. 
Look at this. Always selling. Always selling. Uh, these Team of the Week packs, actually very good. Let's open one for you guys. Uh, these packs getting up for me. We actually got additional value in packs, getting most fear tokens. Awesome. Uh, I'm valuing a most fear token at like 3,000 coins at this point. Uh, so we're getting a little more guaranteed value out of our packs. Uh, even though like these packs still, they don't pay out massively, right? Uh, but like this pack, Jake Fisher probably goes for like 12 to 15 K Shaq Griffin's five K 20, 23,000 coins we made back there. So it's not horrible, but it was worth it just for you guys. Uh, but our solos this week were great. Uh, just, just, just great. Um, the new gauntlets, as you guys saw, both or all three of these actually had five new solos. Uh, you got stuff. Please play these, play these, play these, play these. Let me show you who I got from all mine. Uh, I don't think I discarded anyone. Let's go to our program, Nat, our Nat program, and newest. Uh, so out of all those solos, we pulled a Des Bryant, not bad. Landon Collins, not bad. And Byron Jones, not bad. So three cards like this, I mean, sure, they're all shitty NFC East players, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, is what it is, and that's what it is. Um, I think one thing to keep in mind, in my opinion, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Here's a tip for everyone who stayed back here. Please hit the like video right now. This tip could be awesome or it's going to be complete dog shit. These packs are unlimited. These Team of the Week packs. We haven't had that before. The reason is to give us most feared tokens, in my opinion. Right? My opinion. Why? Why are they giving us a chance at unlimited tokens? Because I think you're going to need them. For whatever the next sets come out. I don't think that this Tony Gonzalez set is the last we see of most feared tokens being used. I think we're getting something else that we're going to use them for. I'm keeping all of mine. I'm keeping all of them. Look at that, that hairline. Bruh, that's bad. Uh, that's bad. That's why I shaved my head. Uh, so we actually have just these two players. And then 176 most feared tokens currently. 176. Now, I finished all the solos every day. I finished the objectives every day. Uh, I finished the actual win 40 games online objectives. So, little tip. I think I'm just going to hold on to them. I'm just going to hold on to them. And I'm going to take that risk. And then we'll see how we do. Uh, but all in all, I mean, most weird was a better medium. You know? But the rest of the week was pretty good. Those solos on Monday were awesome. I think TV of the Week yesterday was pretty good. Getting to Joe Thomas is pretty good limited edition, even though it's another left tackle. Um, but good week in Mutt. Hopefully this continues to be a great week in Mutt. Please give us awesome, most feared content for the weekend. I beg you, EA. I would love you. If you don't, screw us over. Thank you. And I am CC, and I am out. Peace.